ESLint is a pluggable JavaScript tool that can analyze your code to find issues that can lead to bugs or inconsistencies in code health and style. With more than 17 million downloads every week on NPM and used by some of the largest tech companies such as Microsoft, Netflix, and Google, it's safe to say ESLint is one of the most popular tools for JavaScript development. Today, we'll look at setting up a node project with ESLint and integrating it with Visual Studio Code. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials. We can simply install ESLint with NPM or Yarn. You'll want to install it as a development dependency since it isn't something our application needs in order to run. Out of the box, ESLint allows you to set up a basic configuration file and hit the ground running with some command line options. In our project, we can run ESLint init to generate a config file. For the first option, we'll select syntax and find problems. Later in this video, we'll add support for code style using Prettier. For the other options, most of them can be left as default, but if you're using a framework like React or Vue, or you're using TypeScript, you can have it set up the configuration for them. Once we finish, you can see that it generated a .eslint JSON file in the root directory. In this configuration file, we can provide options like plugins, which can provide additional linting checks, a parser for reading different file types like TypeScript, any presets, and customize any errors we'd like. With the basic configuration already set up, we can actually just run the eslint command. This will recursively lint all JavaScript files in the current directory. I'll add this command to our package.json scripts so we can simply run it with yarn lint. As you can see from the output, we have one error in our code. The lodash module is being imported even though it's never used. If you use VS Code like I do, you can install the eslint extension, which will automatically run eslint on each file and display any warnings or errors. We can remove this import and you'll notice the error is now gone. What's also great about ESLint is that if we pass in the fix parameter, ESLint will attempt to fix any errors or warnings in your code. This makes it really easy to fix massive amounts of issues instead of having to manually fix each one. What we've covered so far is a good start to learning ESLint but it's common for developers to use ESLint with other JavaScript tools like Prettier. Prettier is another linting tool that focuses on code formatting. Once you have Prettier set up, it will automatically format your code as you save. This saves so much time as you don't have to worry about formatting anymore. We can install Prettier as a dev dependency with Yarn or NPM. Once installed, we can use Prettier right away and have it format the code. Of course, you can customize how Prettier will format by creating a .prettier RC file. You can check out their documentation to see all the available options you have. We'll want to integrate Prettier with ESLint so that when we run our lint command, it also shows any errors with formatting. To do this, we can simply install the ESLint config Prettier module that allow us to extend the Prettier configuration in our esconfig file. Running our lint command will now also check Prettier. If we added the fix parameter I mentioned earlier, this would also fix any formatting errors if possible. Once again, if you're using VS Code, you can install the Prettier extension. To get it to format whenever you save, you'll need to set the default formatter to Prettier and enable the format on save option. Now, if you save files, it will automatically format the source code to the Prettier style. As you can see, ESLint is pretty flexible. You can find a large list of ESLint plugins in this ESLint awesome list. Lots of developers and teams have also published their own configurations that you can easily apply and extend. Some popular ones include Airbnb's config and Google's JS style guide. ESLint is a wide open book with tons of plugins and rules, and it's not the only linting tool in the game. You should play around and find what fits the best for you and your team. The time spent configuring a linting tool now for your app will save you a lot of time in the future. 
If you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other tutorials. I also have a growing community over on Discord. Hope to see you in the next one.